Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a U.S. Dragon figure. His name is Hap Daly, and he's a U.S. Armored Infantryman from Northern France, 1944. And I want to give a quick shout out to my buddy Will for selling this figure to me. I greatly appreciate the help in acquiring this one. This is a figure I've been trying to get a hold of, so thanks a lot for the help. But let's jump right in and take a look at the box. And what's interesting about this figure is that he's wearing camouflage, which um, from a distance you might think that this is a Pacific figure, as I did when I first saw this figure, but he's actually um, from the European front. And I did a little research into why you don't really see U.S. troops um, in, the, in Europe wearing camouflage. And the main reason for that is they were often mistaken for German troops who also wore a lot of camouflage. So obviously that wasn't a good idea. And I'm assuming that's probably the main reason why you don't really see U.S. troops wearing camo in Europe. But anyway, fun fact. And on the side of the box, there's another picture of the figure for you. And then the back with some of his equipment. And this one came out in 2007. All right, so cool looking box. All right, and here is the figure for you. A great looking figure, I really like this one. It's got a lot of personality, um, especially with that camouflage uniform. Very awesome. It's a shame that you don't see more uh, of these um, US figures with the camo um, from Europe. Uh, they look really cool. It's too bad that didn't work out. All right, well, you can see the figure is equipped with an M1 Garand. And he holds that very nicely. All right, very nice model. There is the cartridge inside and that can come out. This is one of the models that you can um, take apart actually. All right, and a pretty nice sling on there. All right, I really like the head sculpt and especially the helmet with this figure. I love the netting with the rag straps. It looks great and definitely gives him a lot of personality. Here's a closer look at the helmet, and this is actually a metal helmet, which I was not aware of, so that was a pleasant surprise. That adds a lot more weight to the figure, and uh, overall it looks a lot better. Now these straps are a pain to get inside of the netting, so that takes a lot of patience. But it looks great once you get all those in there. Alright, and here is the head sculpt. Very nice, he's got a pleasant expression on his face. All right, moving on to equipment. Uh, he's pretty light on equipment. Okay, he's got this uh, cartridge belt here. And I do have a few tucked inside of there. They're actually, they're a pain to get inside of these uh, pouches. So I only got a few in for the moment. All right, and then obviously he's got a cartridge belt. Okay, we've got a first aid pouch, his knife or a bayonet, which you can attach onto his Garand, like so. So cool bayonet. Okay, we've got a grenade, and in the back, this canteen, 
And they do give you a shovel with this figure, but no case, which was interesting. So I just have that stuck onto the back of his belt. And I must say, I had a lot of trouble putting on these straps here. Um, the little pegs that attach onto the belt uh, were really difficult um, to snap on. So that took a long time. But um, once you finally get it on, it looks good. Uh, for some reason, I had trouble with this one. I don't know why that is. Maybe due to age. But anyway, um, yeah, the uniform is awesome. I love the camouflage. It's too bad that um, that didn't work out and there weren't more soldiers who were able to wear this camouflage design. It looks great, I think. Okay, and then lastly, we've got boots, which are pretty nicely detailed. All right, and I think that is everything to show for this figure. So Hap Daily is a very nice US figure, a very unique one, and I definitely recommend picking this one up. He is on the rare side, as you would expect from a US figure, but um, I have seen one on eBay. I think he was going for like a hundred bucks. Actually, I think it was a little more. So that's um, definitely on the pricey side uh, for this figure, but uh, he is rare, so be uh, be ready to pay a higher price for him. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you next time.